If you got 16 inches between two studs and a place to stand, you can reload. I had something like this earlier when I used to reload before I bought this house. And I had this scrap 2x8 kicking around. I just decided to build another one. I just used what I had on hand and just 16 inches from here to here is my mount. I use these flanged head construction screws. I think these are made by a company called Maze. Very good. I use these when I built my shed and they're just really good and really strong. Make sure you use construction screws when building stuff like this. Don't use sheetrock screws. Sheetrock screws snap easy. They're meant just to hold stuff in place, not really take any other force applied to it. That's why they break easy. If you drill them into something hard and they grab, they snap. They're too brittle. So make sure you use construction screws. This is all held together with deck screws and I always use construction adhesive. I don't know, I just do. Uh, it's flexible. It doesn't get hard like wood glue. And it's, it's strong. So this is basically all I did. Now this isn't the um, permanent place for this. I have a couple of these presses to rebuild. I got this one and two turret presses. I think they're turret presses. I haven't even dug into the box. Um, they were just given to me. Most of them are uh, in pieces and missing parts, but I got enough leaf pots on hand to rebuild at least two or three presses of this style, even the older ones. They work good. They're not bad for the money, and no one else makes anything this inexpensive that works. Like I said, I just use these. Always pre-drill your holes. I glued these washers on there. I glued the washers on there just so I don't lose them every time I want to move it. This isn't the permanent place for it, but if I moved my drill press, my shotgun press, and made some room, I could definitely reload here. Make sure you give yourself enough clearance behind the press for your primer feed trays, your powder drops, whatever other mechanisms might be in the back. These lee plates, although they're a little pricey for what they are, they work pretty good. I like them and I got a lot of stuff mounted to them and I'll probably use this more for trimming brass than anything else like I'll get my brass trimmer mounted up to one of these or, or just a wood block probably and that's that so you don't need a lot of room to reload I got enough room here for the for a couple little trays of bullets over there, pray bullets and shells on each side. It's just big enough. Make sure you leave enough room though you can screw that. I could, probably could have pushed this out but I just barely had enough wood to make it as it sits. And it's plenty sturdy enough. That's not going anywhere. If you got to go through sheetrock make sure you use long enough screws. You might want to go three and a half maybe even maybe four inches if you're going through sheetrock. No excuse for space. Believe me, I know. I, I got a tiny space.